Would you purchase a car or a boat or a computer that was built outdoors? Of course not, but thousands of people buy new homes that were built outdoors every day. There is now an alternative, manufactured housing. Believe it or not, manufactured homes now account for 35% of all new home sales. The reason? Low pricing, improved quality control, and the building materials are protected from the elements. This home has a lot of features you probably wouldn't expect. If you remember the old manufactured homes, you had a lot of paneling with buttons to hold it in place. Here our walls are tape bedded in texture just like an ordinary home. Really looks good, plus bull nose corners. That's a rounded edge corner. You normally only see that in more expensive homes. They've also added a couple plant ledges to set the room off, and then crown molding going all the way around the room. You notice we also have a high ceiling and it's tape bedded and textured as well. And outside the home looks different than an ordinary manufactured home because it has a hinged roof and it has a higher pitch. It actually has a 512 pitch, which is pretty much standard for most homes. So it looks very different from what you would conceive as a manufactured home. Now let's go in the kitchen. Let me show you a few other features you probably don't expect. One thing that's a nice touch is the big island here with a great work surface on it and plenty of light from a skylight right overhead. Then we have a stainless steel sink with double sides on it, a name brand faucet. We have tile edging around our countertops and island and a tile backsplash. Now all the cabinets are made in the factory and they have really nice solid doors on them. Very, very thick when you look down the side, but not just on the edges, also in the center as well. Now if you like the things in the kitchen, you're really gonna like the fireplace. Right above the fireplace, they have a mantle shaped out of drywall to give it a contemporary look, and they still have those bull nose corners to match up with the rest of the house. Now around the fireplace, they have a tile surround, really nice, grout held up great on the move. Fireplace, most people don't expect this in a manufactured home, but they have one here, and it's built right because it has an exterior air intake, so we draw air from outside for the combustion of the fire. We're not sucking all the warm air that we've already paid to heat to burn the fire and have it go up out through the flue. Now again, there's a lot of things you don't expect, but there's a lot of things behind the wall you probably don't expect as well. Let's go take a look at that. Unlike the less sturdy mobile homes of 20 years ago, a lot of manufactured homes now feature thicker lumber and better building materials for greater structural integrity. William was good enough to build us a cutaway at the factory so we know exactly how the home is built. We've got our exterior wall here and our flooring system. And William, first question, you went with a two by six instead of a two by four for your exterior wall. How come? Well, several reasons. First, it allowed us to put a R19 insulation in the wall cavity. And also, the two by six walls does give us a lot stronger construction than that of a two by four. 50% thicker wall, more insulation, so cool in the summer, warm in the winter, low utility bills. That's correct, quiet as well. Exactly what we want. Now there's a stigma attached with manufactured homes that when the floor gets wet, it starts to buckle and delaminate. But that's with particle board, and you're not using that, you're using plywood. That's correct. This is a three quarter inch tug and groove plywood floor decking that is attached to our two by six floor joists using not only a full ring shank nail, but also the special polyurethane glue, which helps eliminate floor squeaks and gives us a very strong floor system. So you can sneak into the kitchen at midnight, no one's gonna hear you going across the floor. <laughs> That's correct. And it's gotta be strong, like you said, because it's gonna be in transit, you're gonna be moving the home. And that makes me wonder about the drywall. How do you keep the nails from popping and getting cracks in the wall when you're actually transporting the home? Well, what we're trying to do is eliminate the racking and, and uh, stress that's caused by transit. We do that by using the structural backer board behind the half inch sheetrock. We attach that to the studs using both a glue and nails, and that does give us more structural strength during transit. Well, William, besides the added expense of the two by sixes and the plywood decking, I see you've added some money here on the exterior as well, going with the cement siding. Why is that? Well, the fiber cement siding not only adds structural strength to the wall, but it also is impervious to rot and insects, and it holds paint very well. And you can change the colors since it is paintable. That's correct. Yeah, I really like the wood grain features on it. It's really nice. William, what's it like to be able to build a house indoors? Well, one of the greatest advantages, Michael, is that we're able to control our environment. So whether it's very hot outside, very cold, snowing, raining, we're able to keep going. It doesn't matter. When I do them, I work with a lot of different trades, and they come in and out, and that delays the process. It takes a few months. How long does it take to build it indoors? Start to finish, usually takes us about three days. Three days. So no weather problems and no labor problems. So what type of people do you have inside the factory? We have all the trades there at the factory, whether it be plumbers, electricians, framers, drywallers, they're all there. 
I know they're used to doing certain types of homes and you know that if there's supposed to be eight nails and instead there's eight nails, you have that kind of consistency. But what if you do a custom home? Can you do it in a factory and how long would it take? Well, it takes about the same amount of time. We have draftsmen there on site. They're able to draw the home to meet that customer's needs and then we just build it like any other. And with all the trades on site, once you're done, you're totally done when it rolls out? All it needs is the furniture. With an average cost of about $35,000, manufactured homes have become the fastest growing segment of the housing market. Many manufactured homes offer floor plans that have more than 2,000 square feet, from spacious dining rooms and living areas to large bedrooms and studies. With the cost of conventional homes continuing to rise, a manufactured home might provide the value and quality your family's been looking for. Mm -hmm.